Welcome to In Mark Dom We Trust. I am your host Jane AI Bot and today we are examining tradition versus sports entertainment. CMLL, the pillar of tradition in Lucha Libra. When it comes to the grand tapestry of professional wrestling, few promotions hold as much historical weight as Consejo Mundial de Lucha Libra, CMLL. Established in 1933, CMLL proudly wears the mantle of the world's oldest wrestling promotion. Known for its unwavering commitment to tradition and conservative approach, CMLL stands as a bastion of the classic Lucha Libra style, which emphasizes in-ring prowess, technical skills, and a deep respect for the sport's rich heritage. However, the winds of change often stir even the most steadfast institutions. This was evident in the early 1990s when Antonio Pena, a key figure within CMLL, felt the pull of innovation and expansion. Pena, brimming with creative ideas and a vision to push the boundaries of Lucha Libra, ultimately made the bold decision to part ways with CMLL. His departure marked the genesis of a new era in Mexican wrestling, the birth of Asistencia Asesoria y Administración, AAA, in 1992. Pena's AAA was conceived as a counterpoint to CMLL's traditionalism. Embracing a more Americanized style of professional wrestling, AAA infused Lucha Libra with a vibrant blend of theatrical angles, storyline-driven feuds, and gimmick matches. This evolution resonated with a broader audience eager for the heightened drama and spectacle that AAA brought to the ring. Elements such as high-flying maneuvers, masked heroes and villains, and elaborate backstories became AAA's hallmark, drawing fans both in Mexico and internationally. The contrast between CMLL and AAA reflects a broader dialogue within the wrestling world, a dialogue between preserving the sanctity of tradition and embracing the dynamism of modern entertainment. CMLL remains a fortress of the classic Lucha Libra ethos, with its events steeped in ritual and respect for the sport's storied past. Meanwhile, AAA continues to thrive as a beacon of innovation, captivating audiences with its flashy production values and contemporary storytelling techniques. In essence, the existence of both CMLL and AAA enriches the Lucha Libra landscape, offering fans a diverse spectrum of wrestling experiences. While CMLL anchors the sport in its historical roots, AAA propels it into the future, ensuring that the legacy of Lucha Libra continues to evolve and captivate new generations of enthusiasts. So, whether you're drawn to the time-honored tradition of CMLL or the electrifying spectacle of AAA, the world of Lucha Libra offers a rich tapestry of history, culture, and entertainment, each promotion contributing its unique chapter to the ever-evolving story of professional wrestling. A clash of eras, the tradition of the 1980s National Wrestling Alliance versus the sports entertainment revolution of the World Wrestling Federation. The 1980s marked a pivotal decade in professional wrestling, defined by the contrasting philosophies and presentation styles of the National Wrestling Alliance, NWA, and the World Wrestling Federation, WWF. This period witnessed a battle not just for ratings, but for the very soul of professional wrestling, as the tradition-laden NWA faced off against the brash, entertainment-focused WWF. The National Wrestling Alliance, NWA Tradition and Grit The NWA, established in 1948, was a confederation of regional wrestling promotions that dominated the wrestling landscape through the mid-20th century. By the 1980s, it was the epitome of old-school wrestling, where authenticity, athleticism, and regional pride were paramount. Key Features of NWA Territorial System The NWA operated under a territorial system where various promotions controlled specific geographic areas. This system allowed for a diverse range of wrestling styles and local heroes who resonated deeply with their communities. Realism and Grit Matches in the NWA were often hard-hitting and realistic. The emphasis was on in-ring storytelling, where feuds and rivalries were developed through physical encounters rather than scripted drama. Prominent figures, legends such as Ric Flair, Dusty Rhodes, and Harley Race were the torchbearers of the NWA. Their larger-than-life personas and wrestling prowess captivated audiences, creating timeless moments and legendary bouts. 
Promos and storylines, while storylines were important, they were grounded in a sense of realism. Promos were often intense and personal, adding depth to the rivalries without veering into the fantastical. The World Wrestling Federation, WWF Sports Entertainment Revolution. In March 1979, Vincent K. McMahon convinced his father, Vincent J. McMahon, to rename the World Wide Wrestling Federation, WWWF, to the World Wrestling Federation, WWF, signaling the beginning of a seismic shift in the wrestling world. McMahon's vision was to transform wrestling from a regional pastime into a global spectacle, blending athletic competition with entertainment. Key Features of WWF National Expansion McMahon aggressively expanded the WWF beyond its northeastern roots, acquiring television slots nationwide and buying out regional promotions. This move effectively dismantled the territorial system and centralized wrestling under one powerful brand. Entertainment Focus The WWF's approach was radically different from the NWA. McMahon coined the term sports entertainment to describe his product, emphasizing larger-than-life characters, elaborate storylines, and theatricality over pure wrestling. Iconic Superstars The WWF became synonymous with superstars like Hulk Hogan, Macho Man Randy Savage, and Andre the Giant. These wrestlers transcended the sport, becoming pop culture icons who appeared in movies, TV shows, and mainstream media. Spectacle and Production The WWF revolutionized production values in wrestling, with pyrotechnics, elaborate entrances, and professionally produced vignettes. Events like WrestleMania became grand spectacles, drawing massive crowds and pay-per-view audiences. Merchandising and Media McMahon capitalized on merchandising, creating action figures, video games, and a plethora of branded merchandise. The WWF also leveraged television and pay-per-view to reach a global audience, solidifying its place as a media powerhouse. The Cultural Impact and Legacy The NWA and WWF's contrasting approaches left an indelible mark on professional wrestling. The NWA's commitment to tradition and realism fostered a deep sense of authenticity and respect among purists. Its legacy lives on through promotions that value in-ring skill and storytelling. Conversely, the WWF's transformation into a global entertainment juggernaut redefined what wrestling could be. McMahon's vision of sports entertainment brought wrestling into the mainstream, creating a template that many promotions follow today. The WWF, now known as World Wrestling Entertainment, WWE, continues to be a dominant force in the industry, showcasing the enduring appeal of McMahon's revolutionary approach. In conclusion, the 1980s were a battleground for two divergent philosophies in professional wrestling. The NWA's tradition-rich, gritty realism clashed with the WWF's glitzy, entertainment-centric spectacle. This era of wrestling not only entertained millions but also shaped the future of the industry, leaving a lasting legacy that continues to influence wrestling today. A Tale of Two Wrestling Worlds, Comparing Billy Corgan's NWA with Endeavor's TKO slash WWE In the colorful and competitive landscape of professional wrestling, two distinct entities stand as exemplars of different eras and philosophies. On one side, we have the National Wrestling Alliance, NWA, revitalized under the ownership of Billy Corgan. On the other, there's WWE, now a powerhouse under the corporate umbrella of TKO Group Holdings, a company formed by the merger of WWE and UFC under Endeavor. Let's dive into the intricate details that set these two wrestling organizations apart. Historical Legacy vs. Modern Megalith NWA, the Heritage Guardian The NWA boasts a storied history dating back to 1948. It was once the governing body for wrestling territories across the United States, establishing world champions and a network of promoters. When Smashing Pumpkins frontman Billy Corgan acquired the NWA in 2017, he took on the mantle of preserving and reinvigorating this rich legacy. Corgan's vision centers on the classic wrestling ethos, emphasizing storytelling, traditional wrestling styles, and a nostalgic production aesthetic. 
TKO slash WWE, the global entertainment titan. WWE, founded by Vince McMahon in its modern form in the 1980s, revolutionized professional wrestling, transforming it into a global entertainment spectacle. Now under TKO Group Holdings, WWE continues to innovate, blending sports entertainment with mainstream pop culture. The merger with UFC under Endeavor's ownership has expanded its reach, creating a colossal sports entertainment entity with unparalleled resources and global influence. Production and Presentation NWA, Intimate and Authentic The NWA's approach to production is reminiscent of wrestling's golden age. Shows like NWA Power are filmed in smaller, studio-like venues, providing an intimate atmosphere. The focus is on in-ring action and character-driven promos, often in front of passionate, close-knit audiences. This setup fosters a sense of authenticity and connection between the wrestlers and their fans. TKO slash WWE, spectacular and high-tech. WWE's production values are the epitome of modern entertainment. State-of-the-art arenas, advanced pyrotechnics, and cutting-edge technology create a spectacle that rivals major sporting events and concerts. Weekly shows like Raw and SmackDown, along with pay-per-views such as WrestleMania, are broadcast to millions worldwide, featuring elaborate storylines, high-flying action, and celebrity appearances. Talent and Roster Management NWA, Cultivating New Stars the NWA prides itself on nurturing talent and giving opportunities to wrestlers who might not fit the WWE mold. With a smaller roster, each wrestler receives more screen time, allowing for deeper character development and storytelling. The NWA World Heavyweight Championship, once held by legends like Ric Flair and Harley Race, remains a coveted title, adding prestige to the modern era. TKO slash WWE, Global Superstars WWE's roster is a diverse mix of seasoned veterans and emerging stars, with talent scouts constantly searching for the next big thing worldwide. The WWE Performance Center serves as a training ground for future superstars, ensuring a steady pipeline of talent. WWE's global reach provides wrestlers with unparalleled exposure, making them household names. Business Model and Market Reach NWA, niche and dedicated. The NWA operates on a more niche level, focusing on dedicated wrestling fans who appreciate the sport's roots. Revenue is primarily generated through live events, merchandise, and digital content. The NWA's model emphasizes quality over quantity, aiming to deliver a unique and memorable experience for its audience. TKO slash WWE, broad and expansive. Under Endeavor's ownership, WWE's business model is multifaceted, encompassing television deals, streaming services, live events, merchandise, and more. The merger with UFC under TKO Group Holdings has expanded its market reach, creating crossover opportunities and a vast entertainment portfolio. WWE's financial strength allows for significant investments in talent, production, and global expansion. Creative Direction and Storytelling NWA, Tradition and Innovation Billy Corgan's creative vision for the NWA blends traditional wrestling values with innovative storytelling. The promotion often pays homage to wrestling history while introducing fresh narratives that resonate with modern audiences. This balance of old and new creates a unique viewing experience, distinct from mainstream wrestling. TKO slash WWE, Spectacle and Drama WWE is synonymous with grandiose storylines and dramatic twists. From the infamous Attitude Era to the PG Era, WWE's creative direction has evolved to suit the tastes of its broad audience. High-profile feuds, surprise returns, and celebrity involvement keep fans engaged and the product fresh. The integration with UFC opens new storytelling avenues, blending combat sports with sports entertainment. Fan Engagement and Community NWA, Grassroots Connection The NWA fosters a grassroots connection with its fan base. 
Engaging directly with fans through social media, fan events, and intimate shows, the NWA builds a loyal community. The promotion's smaller scale allows for personal interactions and a sense of belonging among fans. TKO slash WWE Global Community WWE's fan engagement strategy is vast, leveraging social media, interactive apps, and large-scale events like WrestleMania access. WWE's global community spans all ages and demographics, with a presence in numerous countries. The company's outreach extends beyond wrestling, involving fans in various entertainment and charitable activities. The NWA and TKO slash WWE represent two contrasting yet complementary worlds within professional wrestling. Billy Corgan's NWA champions the sport's rich heritage and intimate storytelling, while Endeavor's TKO slash WWE epitomizes modern entertainment scale and spectacle. Both promotions contribute uniquely to the wrestling landscape, offering fans diverse experiences that celebrate the past, present, and future of the sport. If you liked this episode, you can catch a new one every Wednesday. But don't forget our regular schedule on YouTube with the Raw Review on Mondays where Big Time and Paulus Clark break down the episode, on Tuesdays on our Patreon and Wednesday on YouTube the NJPW Rebound Podcast with your host Miguel Z. On Fridays we have the Smackdown Post Show Review, and our flagship show on Sundays, the weekly Roundup Podcast that can be found at 8pm Pacific Standard Time. But if you thought that was the last of it, the value of wrestling brings you even more content on our free Patreon with articles and podcasts not uploaded to YouTube. If you want to catch up with NWA Power, NXT, Ring of Honor, and TNA Impact, well then you will have to sign up on our free tier Patreon. In addition, you never know what new and fresh content will be posted, so sign up today. Thank you for spending your time with us because without you, there is no value. Just remember, life is hard enough, don't let anyone tell you about your fandom that when appropriate, you can't go 100% mark.